everybody, welcome back to Vikings Connected. My name is Chris Hockey and this is Aaron Newberg. Aaron, what's next? Well, it's the return of School LOL. This is our animated series that tells the best Viking stories in history by the actual players themselves. Mm. This week, it's none other than Hall of Fame player, John Randall. Okay, the version was I came into the National Football League when at about 2.45, and um, the defense coordinator was named was, uh, Floyd Peters. And he told me I need to get up to like 260 pounds in like a month or two. And I'm like trying to trying anything, eating peanut butter, trying to uh, eat cheeseburgers, and I wouldn't gain any weight. So I went to one of these hardware stores and bought a big old chain and uh, put my sweats on, put the chain underneath the sweats. I got on the scale, said 260. And they were, everybody was looking at me going, 260? Where are you hiding at 260? You know, and I kind of got off and was kind of like being smart mouth like, hey, you know what? I'm from Texas. Things in Texas are big. I'm a big guy. As I got off the scale, my ch chain made a little cheat and somebody said, kind of looked at me funny like, I'm like, oh, just got a little necklace on. But that's how I weighed in my first year. My first game, was on a Monday night. Uh, actually, no, my first game was against Kansas City. Uh, I'm on the sideline and Dolan breaks a shoelace and uh, Paul Wiggins, who was my defensive line coach, we only carried one backup guy and that was me. Uh, Paul Wiggins, all of a sudden was like, I need a defensive lineman. There's only one, that's me. He turns around, looks at me straight in the eyes, and grabs me and moves me to the side. Then to the other side and goes, I guess you're it. And I go in the game, and I was third and third and one. Tackle blocks down with the trap play. I closed it, and the guard was supposed to come and hit me. Went around me, so as he went around, I looked out, saw the guard, like, hmm? Looked inside, Christian Okoye, the Nigerian nightmare. He's only running like a four or five at 260, and I'm 245. He hit me, his head went down. I just grabbed his head, fell down. His feet went up in the air. Uh, I stopped him, and I just got up. Everyone pat me on the head, blah, 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 blah. I'm just kind of looking around. I saw Chris Dolman, and I just went to the sideline. And my roommate was like, hey, nice job. I go, I don't know what I did, but dude, I'm thankful to be out of there. And then one more follow-up, the list you kept of what to say to guys. Talk, talk about developing that. And like... <laughs> oh, you guys want to know a lot. Oh, my God, you guys want to know a lot here. Okay, I'll be honest with you, my list, would I would uh, have to know the guys if he was married, if he had kids, where he lived at, uh, what type of car he drove, because you know how in the media you have all his press guys and all that. So I would read all this stuff. I would read it at home at night and figure out the guys, his wives, the kids. You know, sometimes on occasion, I'm not saying a lot of time, I may resort to talking about some guy's family. I'm just saying it's an intense game. We must do what we must do. Lastly, can you just talk about the paint? Oh, the paint. Okay, yeah. The paint was uh, got origin, originally started uh, with a guy named Derek Alexander. Derek Alexander was a defensive end, so he came in one day and he wanted to do camouflage paint. You know, he wanted to do all the different colors. And I'm like, dude, I'm not doing all that. So I just reached in this black paint and kind of spread it underneath my eyes. And he's over there making like, Finger, taking his finger, rubbing across his face. And I'm like, oh my God. Just kind of like, what are we doing? And I didn't notice that I had kind of rubbed it on my eyes and just kind of rubbed it around my head, around my top of my eyes. And I was like, and he goes, oh my God. Dude, that looked sweet. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? So I went and looked in the mirror and I looked, I go, hmm. But I went out there and I got like three sacks and I go, and I'm a superstitious guy. From that point on, I'm going, every week, I'm doing this. I got to do this. You guys are in it? Are you guys in this with me? I didn't hear anything. Are you guys in it? Uh, no, we're not into this. We're just doing it this week, and that's it. I'm like, well, I'm on my own. I'm going to do it. And that's how the paint got started. And uh, I just enjoyed it. It got helped me get in the right frame of mind, helped me get more intense for the game. and. Uh, also got guys thinking I was really 
that off the wall, bizarre. And uh, I didn't mind it. I'm like, you know what? I got to do what I got to do for the team. If I got to do this, so be it. <laughs>